welcome to Food Junkie 21. My name is Laska, and today is a little different. I am going to experiment and do kind of make do with what I've got type of breakfast for my kids in the morning. Um, I don't know if this is going to go over well. I don't know if it's going to taste right or not. But I am going to do an experiment with some stuff that I have left. I don't have any flour. All I have is all this mixture of things that's left in my pantry. And I'm just going to try to make the best of what I've got. So I have some garbanzo bean flour. Some buckwheat flour. Some amaranth flour. And a little bit of whole wheat flour left. It's literally like literally all the way down to the bottom um i have some vanilla pure vanilla extract some sea salt and i am going to use organic coconut palm syrup for sweetness i don't even have any sugar at all no coconut sugar no regular sugar so um and i have coconut milk and water so i am going to mix these ingredients together and see if i can make some belgian waffles out of it so Stay tuned while I experiment in my kitchen and see what this whoops up to be. All right, so enjoy this. Woo, woo. Stir it up with the flour. Add the baking powder. It'll give you power. Yeah. Coconut milk for the queen with vanilla extract and some beans. Don't give it to me. I'll make you lean oil stir it up and make some green yep add the palm syrup it'll make it sweet stir it up don't give it to me hopefully it tastes good hopefully it tastes good hopefully it tastes good, hopefully it tastes good. Hopefully it tastes good. Hopefully it tastes good. So let's see what happens here with the waffle, the Belgian waffle mix. And just pour it in there and close it up and flip it. Okay, and so thus far I have put in one cup of whole wheat flour, um, a third cup of buckwheat flour, a two third cups of garbanzo bean flour, and a third cup of... Uh, Ooh, I forgot. Let me see the flour real quick. Garbanzo bean. Amaranth flour. So, one, so a third cup of amaranth, a third cup of buckwheat flour, two third cups of garbanzo bean flour, and one cup of whole wheat flour. Mix those all up. Oh, this is actually smelling pretty good though. Okay. And um, then I added one cup of coconut milk in there. Um, I did, I'm supposed to add one cup of oil in there, but because I don't have enough of oil, so I put a third cup of olive oil and then two third cups of coconut oil in there. I put a tablespoon of vanilla extract in there and a third cup of palm coconut palm syrup in there for sweetness so i'm gonna see how it tastes how it goes let me show you what it do what it do oh 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 yo 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 okay it ain't it don't look that oh it's so soft oh it's real soft real soft i just gotta taste it Everybody in the club getting tipsy. Everybody loves somebody. And when you love them, you cook for them. Okay, the only thing about this is that it doesn't hold together. So you got to do like a flaxseed or a flaxseed egg or some like applesauce or something to hold it together. Now for the taste test. Let's see what it tastes like to me. Hmm. 
very moist not bad good the only thing it would it needs is like applesauce or maybe an avocado to hold it all together I mean it's held together but the individual pieces kind of fell apart so I would add um, like a little small thing of applesauce in there or um, one avocado mashed in it just to make it hold together better I'm gonna try it and see what it tastes like and